It's funny how golf fans hardly think of the wild cat when they hear the name tiger. But if golf was the jungle, Eldrick Taunt Woods would surely be the ultimate predator. Yeah, tiger's arguably the goat. But what do the old and new generations of golf legends really think about him? What have they said about the most talked about player in golf's history? Arnold Palmer First up is Tiger's dad. Not really, but that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? The Tiger Woods story is incomplete without Arnie, with the father and son relationship the two built out of sheer respect and admiration for each other. Palmer wrote in his book A Life Well Played that the first time he met Tiger was in 1991 when his Bay Hill Club and Lodge hosted the U.S. Junior Amateur Championship, and he liked the kid and his father Earl right away. That year at Bay Hill, 15-year-old Tiger won the first of three straight Junior Amateur Championships. Tiger would later win the Arnold Palmer Invitational eight times over the course of his career, stressing the idea that Bay Hill was home to him. Arnie shared many moments and spoke a lot about Tiger, but if there was one statement that defined how he viewed the boy as a player, it was what he told Golf Channel in 2015. He said, What can't be argued is this, Tiger Woods is the most dominant, most skilled player we've ever seen. Hey Jack, looks like your buddy thought the boy's the GOAT. Rory McIlroy Every superstar in the new era has been compared with Tiger Woods at some point, but Rory was nicknamed the Celtic Tiger because he was so close to the original. Unsurprisingly, the man who had Tiger's poster on his wall formed a strong bond with his idol as he became a poster boy himself. In 2017, Tiger was coming back from his fourth back surgery when the Northern Irishman said this to the Golf Channel. Look, if he doesn't play again, he's been the greatest player that I've ever seen. He probably played the greatest golf that anyone in my lifetime has seen. I didn't really see Jack play. Jack has a better record, but I don't know if he played better golf. If this is it, he doesn't have anything to prove to anyone. He can walk away from this game with his head held extremely high and he's done wonders for this game. I don't think there's a single figure in golf who did more for the game in terms of bringing different groups of people into the game, different ethnicities, different age groups, made golf cool in the 90s when it really needed an injection of something. So he's a legend of the game and if this is it, then everyone should just applaud what a great career he's had. If these emotional words don't show how much Rory loves and respects his friend, this tip of the hat that made Tiger cry at St. Andrews in 2022 says it all. Rory, heading out in the opposite direction down the first. Justin Thomas Just like Rory, JT is another player who has enjoyed a close relationship with Tiger Woods. He was inspired to play golf by witnessing Tiger's PGA Championship victory at Valhalla in 2000. You don't know what it feels like to meet your hero? Ask JT. He's his hero's friend. After winning the 2022 PGA Championship, JT said this about Tiger, who withdrew after round three because of the pain in his leg. I wouldn't say how tough it was to see him struggle. I mean, he made the cut in his second major in a row. What, a year and a half after being in a gruesome car accident? With a broken leg? I don't think you guys understand how unbelievable that is. He's a freak of nature. It's mind-blowing the things that he can do with his mind. I didn't play during his prime, but from the times I've been out here, him winning the Masters in 2019 and winning the Tour Championship, him making the cut these last two tournaments, for how some of the conditions he was in last year, it's absurd, like beyond absurd. Sir Nick Faldo Nick Faldo played against Tiger in his prime, and as you must have guessed, he didn't enjoy it. In fact, Sir Nick dressed Tiger in his first green jacket, and although the six-time major winner was very critical of Tiger during his time as a golf analyst on CBS Sports, he tweeted this when Tiger joined him in the World Golf Hall of Fame. Congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction, Tiger Woods. You've been the most prominent professional in the history of our game. In fact, what you've done and achieved possibly makes you the most prominent global sportsman since Ali. Do you think Tiger's on the same level as Ali? Tell us in the comments. Tony Finau but what exactly did Tiger do? He gave the PGA Tour its first player of Tongan and Samoan descent. This is what Tony told Golf Monthly in 2020. The 97 Masters drew my eyes to the game. It was very special for my dad, me, and my brother, Gipper, to see someone like Tiger win, not only with how classy he was and with what he brought to the game, but to see that guy have the same skin color as ours. It was very meaningful because at that moment, we realized that maybe we could have a place in this game. 
Tiger broke that barrier in the 97 Masters, and from then we grew up to love golf and love playing the game. Scotty Scheffler Tiger's 97 Masters did not only inspire players to play at Augusta, it created champions. Moments after winning the 2022 Masters, Scheffler said this about Tiger's influence. Oh yeah, I played Tiger's irons, wore his shoes, wore his shirt this week. What? Get your own stuff, Scotty. Sorry about that. He continued. Tiger on the golf course is just ridiculous. He's done so much for the game of golf. I spoke about it a little bit at the beginning of the week. We are so glad to have him back out here. He is the needle for the game of golf. He has completely changed the PGA Tour from when he came on 25 years ago. And his YouTube clips are such an inspiration for me. I remember watching the highlights of him winning the Masters in 97, kind of running away with it, and he never really broke his concentration. That's something that I reminded myself of today. I tried not to look up. I tried to keep my head down and just keep doing what I was doing because I didn't want to break my concentration. Jordan Spieth If Scotty was influenced to win by Tiger, Jordan Spieth, or Spether, as Tiger fondly calls him, was a spitting image of the legend. Jordan's career trajectory was so much like Tiger's that if he'd finished better than a T2 at the PGA Championship and won the Open Championship in 2015, the Tiger Slam might have needed renaming. Hot on the trail of another Tiger record at the Open Championship in 2015, Spieth told the press at St. Andrews, I think the parallels that are drawn between me and Tiger are unfair. That's not something that, in my mind, is necessary. I think that's something that people are looking for but is not there with anybody right now because it's something I don't think that can be compared until at least midway through their career. This is an early timetable. When people ask me about those kind of parallels, I try and shake it off because it's not the same. I'm extremely happy with where I've been and how we've been able to compete and win early and win a couple of majors at my age, but at the same time, I certainly have an appreciation for how Tiger could continue and continue and continue to keep winning majors at just an unbelievable percentage of the amount that he played in because it's not easy. It's very challenging. You have to be at the top of your game and at the top of your mental game. He added that parallels should be drawn between Tiger and the likes of Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer, and Ben Hogan. Do you think it's truly unfair to burden young golfers with the new Tiger tag? Tell us in the comments. Phil Mickelson One other player and the only one in the Tiger era that could be paralleled to him, if possible, is Lefty. They are the Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, the Marvel in DC, or the US and the Soviet Union of modern golf. Their competition produced some of the best golf the world will ever see, and this was what the owner of one of the best short games in golf history had to say about his greatest foe. While speaking with Golf.com's Ryan Aselta about having to compete against younger players like Jordan Spieth, Rory McIlroy, Jason Day, and Ricky Fowler, he said they were great players and people, but far from being Tiger. On Tiger, he said, Mentally, short game, or ball striking, I don't think anybody matches Woods in any of those areas. And Tiger put them all together in one to create a career that is mind-boggling. So it's difficult for me to see the game of golf returning to the level that it was at during his heyday without somebody like that. And as great as the young players are, the level that I've seen out of him, especially when you go back to 2000 at the US Open, and his performance when he held all four major championships at once, I think we're decades away from anybody getting back to that level. Gary Player Even Mr. Fitness agrees with Phil 100% that there's no player like Tiger. Speaking on In-Depth with Graham Bensinger in 2017, Gary said, Well, Tiger is the most talented golfer that ever lived. The most traveled golfer in the world went further to say that Tiger could have beaten Jack Nicklaus if he never took lessons from coaches like Hank Haney and Sean Foley. Tiger Woods, if he never had another lesson, just left what he had, he would have won 20, 22, 24 majors. But he's also been unlucky. Knee operations, back operations, and a few other problems. Jack Nicklaus What do you say about a child that was born to beat you? Tiger's emergence debunked many myths about the Golden Bear, and Jack himself really believed the boy was going to catch his numbers. After a nine-hole practice round with Arnold Palmer and Tiger at the 1996 Masters, Jack was reported to have said, Arnold and I both agree that you could take his masters and my masters and add them together and this kid would win more than that. This kid is the most fundamentally sound golfer I've ever seen at almost any age. Jack was referring to his six masters and Arnold's four. And don't we all want to watch the three of them in their prime sweating it out for a major? 
it's the ultimate fantasy match. But even as many unpredictable factors have robbed Tiger of the lofty expectations the world had for him, it's undeniable that Tiger has achieved enough to change golf forever. Be sure to check out more incredible golf videos at Golf Plus. See you there!